tell me you're single in your 30s without telling me that you're single in your 30s. Guys, I don't know what the statistics are, but I can almost guarantee you guys that more women are drinking now than they ever did in the past. The reason why is because a lot of them are still single. They are unhappy. They have a lot of anxiety, a lot of pain. That is exactly why they drink so much. That's how they self-medicate. That's how they try to get away from their pain. What's funny about this, guys, is the fact that the women from the past, they were happy and they didn't have a lot. They only have the husbands. Now, when you look at the women nowadays, they have it all, guys. They have their own money. They have their own cars. They have their own houses. Yet, those women are very unhappy. Those modern women, guys, they were sort of bad dream. They were told a bunch of lies, which turned out to be their biggest nightmares. They were told by society to go to school, get a job, get your house, get your cars, have your fun. Then you can have a husband. And guys, we all know that is not the way things work. Damn, don't nobody want me? Nobody. Me, I want you. I, I want you. So you telling me nobody really want me? I know this was meant to be funny, but it is not as funny as she thought it was gonna be. The sad reality is, guys, this is a lot more accurate than a lot of women would expect. Yes. Now, do you have a lot of sifts in your DMs? Yes, you do. But you also have a lot of guys, all those guys, all they want to do, man, they just want to get one thing out of you. And once they get that, they'll bounce like a bad check because that is exactly what they want. You don't get the same attention you were getting in your 20s once you hit your 30s. It's not the same. Yes, you're still going to get attention, but not all attention all the same. This is the problem I have with a lot of women. They somehow still cannot tell the difference. A guy who wants to marry you is not the same as a guy who wants to bang you. If you can't tell the difference, then something is really wrong with you. You need to sit down, think about what you're doing. All right, we got an update for the update. Uh, situationship is over, and I'll tell you why. I'm 34 years old. Situationship will no longer be in my vocabulary after this This video. is exactly what this means, guys. She had her fun right in the carousel, and now she is sick and tired chasing after Chad or Tyrone. Now, as we all know, guys, Chad and Tyrone, those guys, they don't commit to anybody. Now, if you want to waste your time trying to get a commitment out of those guys, you're going to fail miserably, which she did. That is exactly what happened. And now, she want you, the nice guy, to come in and save the day not happening i know my worth i know my integrity i know what i bring to a relationship and i'm just not made for situationships nope i want to take care of you i want to do all the things i want to go on vacations let's go to fucking disneyland situationships not happening in my vocabulary anymore i will never ever pull back in order to get a man to rise up ever again we all need to have this mentality men for women also if they're not showing you that they want to be with you we do not need to coddle these people anymore. Let them figure it out themselves. We don't need to heal anybody. We'll be there to support them when they need us, but we don't need to heal anyone or convince them that we are worthy of love. Not happening. I know my worth. I know my integrity. I know what I bring to a relationship, and I'm just not made for situationships. Nope. They all say the same exact thing. I know my worth. I know what I bring to the table. No. Women who do know their worth, those women are not chasing after Chad or Tyrone. Those women are not riding the carousel at that age. Those women are usually married by that age. They're not trying to figure out how and when they're going to get a husband at 34 years old. I want to take care of you. I want to do all the things. I want to go on vacations. Let's go to fucking Disneyland. Situationships is not happening in my vocabulary anymore. I will never ever pull back in order to get a man to rise up ever again. We all need to have this mentality. Men for women also. If they're not showing you that they want to be with you, we do not need to coddle these people anymore. The carousel ride is fun, but it doesn't last very long. This is what always happens, guys, when they spend their whole lives chasing after the bad guys, the Chad, the Tyrone, the guys who want no part of them. By the time they realize it, it is always over. At 34 years old, 
I don't know any man who's going to be rushing just to date somebody that age. Someone who's as messed up as she is, guys. I don't know any guy who's going to be willing to do it. Yes, they're always the sips. I know it. But she's not going to give those guys a chance. We already know that. If she wanted to, she would have done it by now. Those are not the guys she wants. Instead, she wants to chase after the top 10 to 20% of men. The guys who have all the options. Why would those guys commit to you? Why would those guys commit to her guys when they can get someone much younger? Why? I just don't understand. Now, it took her that long just to realize she was dating those bad boys. Come on. I don't believe it for one second, guys. And I promise you guys, six to ten months from now, she's going to wake up. She's going to be doing the same thing over and over. She will be dating another Chad or maybe a Tyrone. Oh, dating in your 30s. Is anybody doing that successfully? I'm curious. If so, drop a comment. Let me know. Um, I'm single. I have a home. I have a career. I got my dogs. I got good friends, good family. But I've had this awful situationship. I've been in an awful situationship for a little over a year and a half. This guy is like just devastated, humiliated me four times. Four times too many. I had to literally get him out of my bed last night because i found out he is not only sleeping with me but he's sleeping with his ex-girlfriend while also trying to get with his friend who's a lesbian then he's like trying to make like not a lesbian anymore i don't know i just don't understand it it's just men these days i tried the hinge thing and met a great guy but then he was still married it was cheaper to keep her so like i have just a crippling fear complete crippling fear it's the same story all over again guys have you guys noticed that she mentioned all the stuff that men don't even care about we don't care about how much money you have we don't care about your house we don't care about your career we don't care about any of that stuff you know why because none of that stuff matters to us none of it matters at all now the money that you have the house that you have it's not ours it's yours we don't benefit from any of that stuff it is always going to be yours remember what's yours is yours what's mine is yours that's how it is and that's how it's always gonna be. I've had this awful situationship. I've been in an awful situationship for a little over a year and a half. This guy is like just devastated, humiliated me four times, four times too many. I had to literally get him out of my bed last night because I found out he is not only sleeping with a woman who looks like her, guys, should not have a hard time fighting a mental mirror. She should not have that kind of problem. Unless something is wrong with her. And based on what she said, guys, it's pretty obvious that she has a lot of issues. She's a CC writer. She has low self-esteem. Plus, she believes in all those lies that were told to women by society. And those are the problems. Now, once again, guys, we have another woman who's chasing a man who wants absolutely no part of her. Instead of going after the guys who want to be with her. Now, guys, she needs to wake up ASAP because she's running out of time. Good, good. Uh, last wish, please, please, please. Last wish. I wish you had more time. 